Hi, my name is Michael Ruhlman. Welcome to the Friday Cocktail Hour. Today we are featuring a great American spirit, Applejack. Um, I was intrigued by an article in the New York Times Food Pages this week talking about small distilleries uh, and how it's, uh, there's a lot of new young producers, small producers of Applejack. Um, I first wrote about uh, a guy in Solon, Ohio, uh, who to name Tom Herbeck, um, and he uh, he started his own Applejack distillery, one of the one of the early ones, and he, and he uses um, grains and apples uh, from around grown around him. So it's great. In America, this was our first spirit, really. Uh, um, we drank a lot of hard cider, and that hard cider was made um, more alcoholic by a process called jacking. Uh, this according to the New York Times article, um, in which the hard cider was frozen, and then the ice crystals were lifted out until it achieved a 40% a, a, um, potency. Um, of course, now that we now we now we distill hard cider, um, and we talked last week about the Pisco sour, and Pisco is the brandy which is distilled from wine. This is like a brandy; it's distilled from hard cider. Um, and there was a fascinating drink uh, in the Times that I really wanted to try, and it's got all these bitter components. Now, it calls for an Italian Amaro, such as Nonino or Fernet Branca, and I find Fernet Branca, um, here's Fernet Branca, um, powerfully medicinal, almost unpleasantly medicinal, so I don't know how they can do it. So I actually made, made you two cocktails this time. I'm gonna go with the Amaro Nonino, uh, which is a grappa infused, um, uh, is grappa infused with, um, herbals, um, and I love this one. This is very similar to a paper plane, so it's what it's based off of. <clears throat> and it's sort of complicated. It calls for demerara sugar, which is a raw cane sugar, uh, <clears throat> but I'm just gonna use some simple syrup, so I'm gonna use- uh, There are so many ingredients on that. There are. So we've got a simple syrup. I'm gonna do one half ounce, into which I'm <clears throat> one half ounce. I'm gonna add a couple, six, six splashes of um, bitters. This is for two. What kind of bitters is this? These are Angostura bitters. Uh, just our standard Angostura bitters. Now we have one ounce of Applejack. This is Laird's Applejack. Laird's is the oldest distillery in the country, still operating. Um, they gave their recipe to George Washington. They remained close with the White House somehow. And during Prohibition, Laird's was per, had a special permission um, to make medicinal brandies or medicinal apple, apple jack. So one ounce of apple jack. And then, interestingly, some fresh grapefruit juice, one and a half ounces of fresh grapefruit juice. I love these little OXO measuring cups. Not elegant, but very, very useful. Grapefruit juice, one and a half ounces of an Italian Amaro. We're gonna use this one. Amaro actually means bitter in Italian, I believe. Is that correct, Dan? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm up on my swear words. But Annabelle, so... what's bitter in Italian? <laughs> one and a half ounces of Amaro. We're failing you here, Michael. And one and a half ounces of Aperol, again, another bitter aperitif. Michael, what's the name of this drink you didn't say? Um, it's called a right flight. A right flight. A right flight, and details will be on the post on my site. Oh, that all rhymes, right flight on, on your site. site. So we've got the Aperol, and then, sort of ingeniously, it's a funky cocktail, uh, an ounce of dark rum. I'm using Gosling's, as was suggested. Is the apple jacket? Yeah, the apple jacket. Okay. 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 Stir. And I'm going to get some chilled coops. I'll be right back. Interesting. The chilled coops appear to be in the bedroom instead of the freezer. <laughs> No laughing, Annabelle. Oh, goodness, so much stuff. 
Okay, we're back. Um, and I went to what, where I went. Where were the coops? <laughs> I forgot to write down the inventor of the drink. Drew Furlow in Asheville, North Carolina, ah. has created this drink. It is called a Wright Flyer. Oh, a Wright Flyer. Okay. And Wright is like the Wright brothers, I, I think. Yes. So this is this is what it showed. He suggests an apple garnish on the um, oh. little circle of an apple here. Wow. So pretty. It's a nice idea. Certainly an edible garnish. Okay, and I can't find my julep strainer, alas. Which Annabelle thought was a tulip strainer <laughs> when you asked her. So here is the one made with the Marlon de Nino. Okay. He says this drink is for two, but I'd say it's for one. <laughs> um, and then we have this, made with the Fernet Branca. That's the one that you thought was kind of medicinal. Serious medicinal. Yeah. Oh, it's so much darker. Yeah. Wow, look at the difference. Oh. So we just float that there. Oh, it's so pretty. And we're gonna taste. Mm. It's a fascinating cocktail. Try this one. Yeah, go ahead and try it, but keep the, <laughs> Keep things in frame. And you know what? I'm gonna go with the Fernet Branca. Um, it is, it's just more complex and more interesting. Here, I'll hand it to you. <laughs> Camera person wants to taste. Mm -hmm. So I recommend Fernet Branca for this one. There aren't many cocktails that I, that I do recommend that for. It's more complex, it's, it's more bitter. Okay, we live in <clears throat> dark times. And I've been wanting to read this poem because it's one of my favorite poems. Um, it's by the Irish poet William Butler Yeats, born 1865, died in 1939. Um, and Anne probably knows what's coming. Mm -hmm. The Second Coming by William Butler Yeats. Turning and turning in the widening gyre, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood-dimmed tide is loosed, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Surely some revelation is at hand. Surely the second coming is at hand. The second coming! Hardly are those words out when a vast image out of spiritus mundi troubles my sight. Somewhere in sands of the desert, a shape with lion body and the head of a man, a gaze blank and pitiless as the sun, is moving its slow thighs, while all about it reel shadows of the indignant desert birds. The darkness drops again, but now I know that 20 centuries of stony sleep were vexed to nightmare by a rocking cradle. And what rough beast, its hour come round at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born. How's that for a poem? Ooh, better. I need that drink. We need that drink. That's the reason <laughs> for it. Well, maybe we should end with a joke. Um, I ordered chicken online and I ordered an egg online. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, I started a newsletter. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you just got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had um, to think about that. I started a newsletter. Uh, I'd love it if you would um, sign up. It's free. Um, musings about food and other things. Um, it's at rollman.substack.com or there's a subscribe button on my uh, site. Thank you for joining me for this fun, interesting cocktail. Um, have a safe Friday. Cheers, everyone.